Hey guys, welcome to this week's individual weekly video for the week of June 18th. And I'm so excited because this week is actually a really cool collaboration with a chance for you to win your own tarot deck from Hip Chick Tarot. We have got Maria coming up after my forecast, not only telling you a little bit about her cards and her tarot deck, but also giving each individual sign a little mini reading of what that card applies to for them for the week. So make sure you stay tuned after your forecast to see what Maria has to say for you as well. And make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe my page and Maria's for a chance to grab this tarot deck, which is phenomenal. All right, stay tuned for your forecast. Hi, Gemini. So this week of June 18th, we're kicking off right away with Neptune, our planet of fantasy, of sometimes fogginess, of introspection, of compassion, of forgiveness, all of these things, right? It's going to be taking a retrograde for the next five months all the way until November. And as a matter of fact, it's been in the sign of Pisces since 2012. It's gonna be there until 2025. So we've got some time to work with this energy. Now, one of the things I feel like has been really highlighted for you, Gemini, having this placement here, is that maybe you've kind of felt a little scattered about your professional life because Pisces energy for you hits this 10th house. Maybe you felt like you get started on the right path and then something comes up and you're unsure of exactly if this is your calling or exactly how to do it or if this is what I'm supposed to do, where where are these clients, right? If this is what I'm supposed to do, why does it still not feel solid? That's definitely an energy I think that has been characteristic of many of you Geminis out there. Now with this Neptune retrograde, because it's a retrograde, what we do is we look back, we re-edit, we reconnect, we reinvent right? You have the chance for a reinvention. Even if you stay right where you are, you can reinvent. And that's what I think this Neptune retrograde is phenomenal for, for you, Gemini, is to look forward. Flip this perspective, not into fixing yourself, healing yourself. It's not that kind of energy. It's the kind of energy that says, wait a minute, what am I inspired by? Right, where is my creativity? And you don't have to ask the question during this retrograde, you just have to let it happen, right? Because what happens during a Neptune retrograde is instead of the answers being foggy and the energy feeling like it's kind of, you know, between the worlds, it's clarity. Neptune retrograde turns those lights off, our foggy planet takes a nap, so you have clarity here. And one of the questions I would ask you, Gemini, is whether it's in your work, whether it's in whatever you feel like your soul level calling is to give to the world, have you been bogged down by other people's expectations of how you should be doing things and that doesn't really fit your model and your method? If this is what you've been experiencing, this is a wonderful time to get clarity on what is your way, right? Not to mention, we've got a beautiful Virgo influence happening at this time. It's a fellow energy being ruled by Mercury as well. So one of the things that I know is that um, maybe you're finding out that maybe there's someone from your past who can actually help you out. They can help you see this. They can help you find the passion. They can help you find the practical way to manifest whatever it is that you're trying to give out. Because remember, we are in a retrograde energy, so we can pull from the past. Is there someone you worked with before and they were just really passionate and really on fire and, and they got you going as well? Seek another collaboration with that person or ask them, ask them to help you. Now, some things that are definitely never gonna work for a Gemini is to be put in a position where people are, you know, telling you what to do or dominating you in some way. That's not something you're going to be interested in at all. So you don't have to worry about taking those positions, but finding your own um, way through this, I think is where you'll find the collaborations and the conversations, your conversational genius will be necessary. Now, as we get towards the end of the week, we've got the sun moving into cancer, which means it's not your birthday time anymore, and that's okay. <laughs> you, had your, you had your once a year chance, but what it does mean too is that moving into cancer, we have summer, this is a light, heat, vitality, energy, and it moves into your second house. Now, maybe you have had ideas go lore. I have no idea and no doubt that you have, right? And so what you get to do now is start to see where these ideas, which one's going to suss out, 
right? You've got Neptune up there bringing you clarity because he's pretty much asleep in that 10th house. Which one fits? Now, here's some ideas I want to tell you too. With the sun moving into Cancer, maybe your way through financially, bringing clients, making money, doing these kinds of things. Maybe it's not so traditional, Gemini. Maybe what you're having to do is collaborate or... Maybe we're going back to old school. Maybe there's some barter and trade going on, right? Figure out new ways to get around the financial things during this time. And at the same time, you've got all of these other energies helping to bring your own essence, probably a really nice communication or collaboration or some other informational influence coming in to show you how to get these things done, which can be a really good boost to your income sector as well. I think that it helps you um, make sense of your own value. Now, one other thing I want to tell you, Gemini, that keeps coming up for me is that if you have something going on with family or a family member, um, this could be a time where maybe you're having a conversation or you're looking through what needs to happen here because you may be looking to change the nature of this circumstance or this relationship especially if it's felt very confining or very restricting you're going to want to dissolve it in some way and bring a lot more free flow to some kind of family environment or family situation so keep that in mind if family things pop up as we get towards the end of this week as well all right gemini's i love you guys a ton make sure you like comment share subscribe to my channel and maria so you have a chance to get this beautiful hip chick tarot deck and coming up next not only is maria going to pull a card for you give you something to focus on this week but she'll tell you a little bit about her deck as well so stay tuned just after this all right i love you card. bye and as you can see there are these two women joined in a kiss and this union is blessed by the sun and it's a very happy joyous card this card is about what you're passionate about it's about you know, choosing your path in life in a really passionate way. And that could, of course, be a relationship. It can also be uh, what you do, you know, uh, work-wise or even as a hobby. So it's about what really um, excites you in life, what you feel a heartfelt connection towards. And um, that's, that can often be um, a bit of a challenge because uh, maybe what you're into isn't really supported by your family or your friends or your community. Maybe you're into uh, Wicca and you, know, you don't get a lot of support for that where you live. Or maybe um, you know, the person that you choose to be with isn't really what your family expected. So sometimes this card is really calling you to put more energy and see the value in, in yourself, in your heart, and in what you feel, and to find the strength to really follow your own unique path in life. Practically, the card really speaks about um, community, and choosing community over isolation. It could be about um, just connecting with um, people through work, volunteer work, through um, your soccer league or your softball league, um, whatever it is. It's just a card of really good feelings uh, among other people and it can show up to uh, reaffirm that that things are going to be positive, that you're walking into whatever situation and you're a little unsure, like maybe you're starting a new job or um, a new relationship. It's a very positive card to receive and very reassuring. 